In Solidity, we have a function called KK256. That's what we're going to learn in this video. But before we start, you have to know a couple of things. When you use this KK256, it will take an input. And the common use case we have of this KK256 is that it will create a dramatic new ID for every single input you provide into the functions. And you can have a common schema model which you have to use to using this functionality of KK256. So I know it sounds abstract, but let's have a look at how we can code into our smart contract. To provide the solidity versions. Let's create a contract. We're going to say hash function. In that we're going to take a function, we'll say hash. In that we're going to pass a couple of variables. So text, we're going to pass the UNT num and we have to pass the address. So these are the three data we need. We make it public pure return and we want to return the byte 32 data so we're going to provide these three data and we're going to get back a byte 32 data so that's what we have here let's return this we're going to use this function kk256 and it's there in the solidity and in that we're going to call this abi encoded method then we'll get the data into a byte 32 because that's what we want to have an output so we'll call it abi encoded so it will give us the abi encoded pack and in that we're going to pass the data so we want to encode the text number and the address we want to encode into byte 32 as an output so that's the first function we have here now let's come here so this this is the simple things you have to keep in mind when you use any example of hash collations so this is what exactly happened so let's see in the code so we'll create a function we'll call this collation and that we're going to pass this string is a text and we're going to pass that another text these are the two data we are passing into this collation function and in that we're going to simply call this public pure and we'll say return and we want to return the byte 32 inside that we're going to call this encoded pack and in that we're going to pass the data so we have to pass the two data into this then we'll get an output like this this is the output we'll get a a b b and that's called pack encoded pack let's give this comment but when you will do something like this like you'll pass this way you will get the output as this so it will always work in this exact length which you are providing and that's also depend on the output we'll use this return and we're going to use this kk by 256 in that we're going to use this encoded packed and then we have to provide the data so text another text and that's the data we have and that's what we're going to get into return let's create a contract and that we're going to say guess the magic word and in this we're going to take this byte 32 public answer and we're going to take this data so this is the byte 32 a uh, simple byte 32 which i have found on net that's what i'm using here let's create a magic word which is a solidity so this is the word we're going to generate from this let's create a function we'll say guest string number word public view return and that we have to pass the boolean because we want to return a boolean as a true or false and in that we have to say return kk by 256 encoded pack and we have to simply pass the word answer word and that's equal to answer so that's the check we are doing we have this answer we have taken and we're going to take the string and we try to convert so we go the string we're going to generate is the sorority so we're going to compare that the this answer and the word we are getting from here both are same or not this is the entire smart contract we have written for hash generation using gigabyte so you can see this is the first contract and that we have this hash function and that we are passing these three variables and we are getting an output as a byte 32 this is the second function we have a closure and that we are passing this two sex we are converting into the gigabyte and we are getting an output here we have another contract and that we are taking this variable byte 32 answer and this byte 32 represent a solidity text word and this is the function we're going to provide the text solidity and we're going to compare that this by 32 which we generated for solidity and the one it's getting generated by this function are equal or not so let's deploy the contract come here this is the only function we have no we have two contract we have to deploy the first one let's call deployed and here you can see this is the first deployed contract we have in that we have these two functions in that we have to pass the name i will pass hey i will pass d i'll pass d a u l 
80 dollars i'll click on this call and the transaction went successful you can see this is the by 32 data we have got it if you open the logs you can see that same data we have as an output so this is the data we contain all the two information we have provided so that looks pretty fine now let's call this hash one this is the function we have checked this let's check this hash one so in that we have to pass the data so we have to pass the string s h o a i b we have to pass the number so the number is going to be six and the address we want to provide to the address which i'm calling and now if i call this i'll get the byte 32 which contain all the information if you open the logs you can able to see the inputs which you have provided and the output you got into byte 32 so that's the pretty simple things about these two function now let's come here let's deploy the this contract guess the magic number so let's deploy the contract the tron contract is got deployed let's me close this one here we have the second contract and that if i call this answer you can see this is the output we got and this is what we have defined the exact output and let's compare this output and the output we get from this function is same or not so in that i'm going to pass this keyword salty because that's what we want to compare if i pass this keyword salty and if we pass this guess you can see it's true because this is the byte 32 which is for salty and the the code is got generated it's it's salty so here we are getting the boolean if i do some changes here so if i pass something else so if i pass d a u l a t if i make a request i'll get the fail it's say false because the byte 32 we are comparing and that the one is getting generated is not equal so that's how you can use the byte 32 and you can compare the data on the base of that and this is very useful when you will actually send the data on the blockchains in the byte format it will cost you way less compared to the what amount you have to pay when you will use the exact string variable or a unt variable something like that okay so hope this makes sense if you still have any confusion rewatch the video try to understand that what function we have created and do leave in the comment section that what's your query i'll try to cover that with that let's move to the next video